What's up, guys? This is Vic. And this is Jaime from Pierce Savelle, and uh, we're talking about the time that we... I think uh, the time I was most scared was when, on Warp Tour, when our bus caught on fire. Yeah. I remember it vividly. I, yeah. I saw smoke coming in through the, the air ducts. Mm -hmm. And we were just, it was like, you know, 2,000 degrees out on Warped Tour summertime. And uh, I just i just knew the bus was on fire. I, and I, I ran to the back and I yeah. opened the door and you were sleeping like with your laptop on you. And, and like, you just yelled, the bus is on fire. And I went, all right, fair enough. I'm out, <laughs> let's go. You don't have to tell me twice. I was in and out, in and out of that time. Yeah, and yeah. we were just like out there just like, like little Freaking girls out. scared. And then like one of the bus drivers just, just rolled up with like a, Fire extinguisher, Fire extinguisher and like put it out. And told like, us oh, to calm down. It's great. Good but time. it was uh, it was very scary. I won't tell me I almost burned alive. The worst time I think for me was we were it was when we were driving ourselves. We were in a van, and um, I was oh, like yeah. sick or something. Sick. And like you know, I was still we had to make it to the show, so I was just still driving like three in the morning, just still going. And I was so sick, and I was literally just puked out the window. Like while I'm still driving, I was like, "Ah, gotta make it." We just see him just blowing, just chucking, just. <laughs> we're like, "Is he going?" And you're like, "I'm good." Somebody give me a napkin. I'm good. Let's keep going. We're like, oh my god. <laughs> that was really gross. You're a man. Hey, you're, look at that. Um, actually, it was on Warp Tour. Um, they had um, an actor on tour. His name was Matthew Lillard. Um, he's not. Jaime really, loves him. At the time, I was I was really obsessed. He did like SLC Punk, but the way I knew him was because he was one of the bad guys in the first Scream movie, which I love. I'm sure you love. Everyone who doesn't love he that proclaims movie. that that is his favorite movie. Scream. Favorite, favorite favorite scary movie franchise. Yes. Uh, but I got to talk to the guy, and I didn't really mention that because I felt like that was. You know, he was on tour promoting like a, a new movie or something that he did. Um, he didn't want to talk about his old stuff. I don't want to talk about his old stuff, but secretly I was just kind of like. You're Matthew Lillard, man. You're the, you're the guy. You're the, you're the guy. You're the scream guy. Yeah. We, we actually did our first uh, headlining show or headlining tour in the UK, and we just found out that like pretty much the entire tour had, had sold out. You know, so we were really excited. And the first night was I think in Bristol, and we kind of celebrated. Like it was like the end of days. We're just day like, we, one. Day one, we went so hard. We're like, this is fantastic. You know, we just got this amazing news and uh, Papa over here got a little bit too uh, intoxicated. Too many, a couple too many ciders, as they say. And uh, I thought it would be smart to jump on our trailer from this like little awning thing. And I ended up like breaking my foot and playing the whole rest of the tour with a cast on my foot and hopping around like an idiot. So yeah. that was a, a lesson learned. You never, you never want to uh, go hard the first night. You want to pace yourself. Right. <laughs> Enjoy right. it till the. I, the... I, I don't know. I, I say go hard. I think yeah, that was a great okay. story. Yeah. I love thinking about it. Just me and, hopping uh, around. That, and that was, that was the whole like ironic thing because we were celebrating a tour that was like not even close to being done, but we were was... like, we did it. And then the next day, <laughs> I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> it was so rough because everywhere we went for the rest of the tour, you were like ten feet behind us trying, trying to keep to up. Cut, yeah. Come on, guys. Wait, wait up. Me. Yeah. It was, it was definitely a. Uh, uh, Lesson learned. Karma, karma smacked me in the face. You never, mm -hmm. you gotta pace yourself. We used to drive in an RV, um, and uh, we were following a band called Dance Gavin Dance to a party in uh, like Jersey, in Jersey or something like that. And uh, they have a lot of low bridges in Jersey because there's a lot of old freeways. And uh, apparently, you know, this is one of our first tours in an RV. You can't drive on a lot of these streets because they have low bridges. And um, but we're just following them, going to this house. We get off the exit, and I, I crash into a bridge, and it took off our, um, AC unit. our roof, like everything on the roof. The AC unit ripped out. Like there were sparks flying. Everyone's freaking yeah. out, and it uh, basically ripped it off and fell into the street. And uh, we had a huge hole. And then we had a hole in our roof for the next week, and uh, just our luck, it, <laughs> it was pouring rain the next like five <laughs> days. So we were trying to figure out a way to cover our roof, and we had trash cans in the living room, and uh, yeah. and uh, it wasn't a proud moment. And uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I happened. just wanted to say I was, that. I, I want to say I'm sorry. It's okay. We we made it through. We made it through. We made. I want to. I I like to think we made it to that party. Yeah. And we had. A great I've always time. wanted to tell you. Apologize for that. Yeah. I think everyone has a different. I, I just remember like, you know, the whole cliche of me like being on a, a like a cover of a magazine 
talking of about. you, that. not us. Just, just you. Me, my solo acting career. I right. went. I have one movie, Forty Nine Shades of Grey. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was it. No, I think <laughs> I think being able to show uh, like my parents. You know, us on a, a, an actual magazine. Yeah, I remember when we first started off, his, his parents didn't quite understand like what we were doing, and, yeah. and uh, they didn't understand until he was on the cover of a magazine, and then they were like, "Oh, this is like a real thing now. Now it makes sense." And that, like at the time, we you know we were just like it was another little step for us to kind of continue as a band. But my parents saw it as like, "Okay, you're doing this." So this then your like, then your dad took it to work and showed like all his like yeah. friends and, and then, stuff like and that. Then now it's now it's like they have the most utmost. Uh, you know, passion for the band, and they're they're all they're all they have my back, so it's great. That was when I was like most proud. Mm. And then my acting career, of course. Hey guys, we're Pierce the Veil. Who would you like to see do this next? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs>